My name is Kelsey. I'm an associate of the Congregation of Sisters of St. Agnes. I'm joining you here from the beautiful grounds at the CSA Mother House to share with you a part of my daily spiritual practice, which is that of chanting. So you might have heard of chanting before, maybe even practiced it yourself, maybe not. All is great. We'll work off of a definition of chanting that Robert Gass presents in his book, Chanting, Discovering Spirit and Sound, where he defines it as worship and celebration of the sacred through simple vocal melodies. So this leaves a lot of room for interpretation and people have practiced chanting under this definition in many different ways around the world for ages. Chanting has been a part of many spiritual practices, ceremonies, and traditions for much of human history, and we are no exception. <laughs> um, so chanting is a practice that is devotional. It is from our heart, and what's important is that we chant and sing from that place with sincerity. We can do this a cappella using just our voices. We can chant with the support of instruments around us. What's important is that we are seeking to connect with the divine. That is our goal in chanting. Acknowledging that the divine spirit, our source creator, is around us and present all the time. And if we can let go of our individuality and step into a space where we're open, where we're available to connect with that, that's what chanting is helping us do. There are lots of great benefits to chanting. It helps us primarily to induce relaxation and reduce stress. So that can help to reduce our blood pressure, heart rate, increase our depth of our breathing, and slow the pace of our breathing. All of that works together to help slow the pace of thoughts and the speed of our mind, which helps us to find a sense of inner peace and mental clarity. We also, because chanting is a devotional practice, experience some opening in our heart space. And chanting is generally pretty uplifting. We chant affirmations and positive thoughts rather than Debbie Downer, <laughs> bummer kind of chants. So spiritually, this is a really uplifting practice. When we are practicing chanting together, um, I will invite you to join me as we go through three different chants that come from three different religious traditions. We'll practice each of them nine times. Three is a sacred number in the spiritual realm, and so three times three is nine. That's where that comes from. So I'll lead you through, and I invite you to join me. Wherever you are, chant along with me and do it with gusto. <laughs> um, we can, especially if we're not used to singing, especially in public or with other people, feel kind of intimidated um, and maybe sing a little bit quieter, but I'll invite you to discover your voice here. That's one of the other great benefits and experiences of chanting is that it helps us to be creative. We are literally creating sound. You might feel that vibration in your throat as you're singing and you're making noise. Um, and Robert Gaff says this is a really beautiful way for us to add our human voice, our human noise to the symphony of nature. So let's connect with what's around us. So challenge yourself to give it a go. If you feel like being quiet or whisper singing, join me, join along. And remember that what is important is that you're doing it with sincerity and with heart, not that you're hitting the right notes or that you're following the right beat. That's not what we're here for. We're here to have a spiritual experience and however that moves you, do it. <laughs> so let's get started. Our first chant comes from the Christian tradition. It is Jesus, remember me. This chant is a great way for us to connect with Jesus as our fellow human, but also as our divine teacher, guide, and healer. It goes like this. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. 
Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. I'll invite you to close your eyes and just pay attention to what's happening within your body, your mind. Let your breath return to its natural pace and just enjoy a brief pause here between our chants. Our next chant comes from the Native American tradition. It's called, The River is Flowing. And this chant reminds us of our connection to Mother Earth and really to focus on the fact that Earth is our mother and we are the child. That Mother Earth provides for, cares for, and holds us. And that we can surrender to the flow of life and move and be fluid just like the water as it flows through the river. It goes like this. The river is flowing, flowing and growing. The river is flowing back to the sea. Mother Earth, carry me, your child I will always be. Mother Earth, carry me back to the sea. The river is flowing, flowing and growing. The river is flowing back to the sea. Mother Earth, carry me, your child I will always be. Mother Earth, carry me back to the sea. The river is flowing, flowing and growing. The river is flowing back to the sea. Mother Earth, carry me, your child I will always be. Mother Earth, carry me back to the sea. The river is flowing, flowing and growing. The river is flowing back to the sea. Mother Earth, carry me, your child I will always be. Mother Earth, carry me back to the sea. The river is flowing, flowing and growing. The river is flowing back to the sea. Mother Earth, carry me, your child I will always be. Mother Earth, carry me back to the sea. The river is 
is flowing, flowing and growing. The river is flowing back to the sea. Mother Earth, carry me, your oh child, I will always be. Mother Earth, carry me back to the sea. The river is flowing, flowing and growing. The river is flowing back to the sea. Mother Earth, carry me, your oh child, I will always be. Mother Earth, carry me back to the sea. The river is flowing, flowing and growing. The river is flowing back to the sea. Mother Earth, carry me, your oh child, I will always be. Mother Earth, carry me back to the sea. The river is flowing, flowing and growing. The river is flowing back to the sea. Mother Earth, carry me, your oh child, I will always be. Mother Earth, carry me back to the sea. I invite you to close your eyes again here and just notice how your breath is settling. Let it return to its natural pace. And let the effects of this chant just sink into your body, your mind, your heart, and your spirit. So the last chant that we'll practice comes from the Buddhist tradition. It is in the language Sanskrit. There are four words and they go like this. Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. That translates into English roughly as may all beings everywhere be happy and free. What I love about this chant is that it incorporates all of nature, all of creation, not just humanity, but the plants, the animals, the elements, every part of creation. And we wish everyone well. So the chant goes like this. <clears throat> Loka Samasta Suki no Bavantu Loka Samasta Suki no Bavantu Loka Samasta Suki no Loka Samasta Suki no Bavantu Loka Samasta Suki no Bavantu Loka Samasta Suki no Loka Samasta Suki no Bavantu Loka Samasta Suki no Bavantu Loka Samasta Suki no body settle and your breath return to its natural pace. Just notice the effects of singing this phrase, this chant, your body and your mind.
as we're bringing our practice, our exploration of chanting to a close, I invite you to notice if you can sense any shifts that might have happened within your being throughout this practice. Maybe you notice some relaxation in the body. Maybe the mind feels a little more still. The heart feels a little more open. Or your spirit feels a little more uplifted. And then bring your hands together at your heart. And we'll bring our practice to a close with an offering of gratitude for our choice to show up here in this moment to perhaps try something new, something familiar in a new way, to challenge ourselves to use our voice, be creative, and to connect with all of the love, spirit, and divinity that surrounds us in every moment. We acknowledge that divinity, the love and the light in ourselves, that is deeply and infinitely connected with the divinity, the love and the light in everyone practicing here and beyond. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice of chanting. If you're interested in exploring other opportunities for chanting, there are some additional resources and links in the description below. I invite you to explore them in your own time. I wish you a beautiful day. Thank you once again.